All right, guys, I'm messing with the 350Z. I'm trying to get some seats in this thing. Um, still working on getting everything painted. We're still missing some, some crucial body parts, body panels, whatever. But we're making progress. I just want to move, go ahead and move to the seats because I know it's going to be another one of those like tedious things that's going to take up a lot of time. So I personally, I've never ever bought seat brackets and seats that actually fit the way that I want them to. And like you get in a car, even a car like a base model has like a ton of seat adjustment, you know, sliding forward, sliding back, sliding up, down. You know, some of them have like low tilt in the uh, lower part of the seat. So you kind of take advantage of that. But I'm going to show you guys what I got going on right now and what we're going to do to fix it. All right. So I bought some seat brackets. Um, nothing fancy, but they're just basically all the same, just rebranded as different stuff. So this isn't like a knock against this particular seat brand. Or seat bracket brand or anything but you can see where i've already cut the seat bracket so it's sitting somewhere right there when it was together Ooh, mosquito land on me get out here fool but sitting right there and you can just see how much how much lower it's going to be and the front is as low as it can get so this might work for some people but like i'm pretty tall and i got pretty long legs so i like to be as low as I can and as tilt back as as far as I can get. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these rear brackets. I'm going to cut them. I cut those off. I'm going to cut these front brackets off and replace the rear brackets up here with the front. So as you guys can see, it's going to lift the front up a lot. So of course, it's going to be up under it like this. But it's going to lift the front up a lot and lower the back a great deal. And for the back, all I'm going to do is these little tabs that I cut off. I'm just going to get some flat stock, put the little tabs, just bolt them to the floor, and then mark the flat stock right here. And then I'll weld it to where it's going to just basically bolt up and hold this flat against the floor. So that should be a problem. Now I'm going to run these these uh, red seats that I got originally for the uh, for the Corvette, but they didn't work out. So. Yeah, I'm gonna get this done. So I don't have to like bore you guys through. I mean, it's pretty pretty straightforward. Cut the back brackets off. As I just cut the back brackets off, I'm gonna cut them flush, like right here, probably right in the middle of that bend, and then just weld it right to the front where I cut these tabs off. And I probably, well, not right where I cut them off. I'll probably actually slide this forward just a little bit, just to get me a little bit closer to the pedals. I know I was just complaining about you know being tall and long legged and stuff like that, but as far back as I'm going to be sitting like this, you know I'm going to have a pretty good tilt, so that will give me plenty of leg room and plenty of headroom. So yeah, I'm just going to like I said cut these flush, and then I'll just weld it probably more up under this seat bracket, kind of probably more like that, just so you can see, just so it moves it back, not a lot, but just a little bit because it is even with me probably somewhere right there so even with me being tall and stuff like that um i'd like to be just a little bit closer but yeah like i said I, i've never bought seats like i said the the corvette was the biggest not it was probably like a several month ordeal with the corvette just because i could not get the seats to fit right not only was it just because i bought those cheap or i didn't say they're cheap but just those the seats that i bought because they have like the leather stuff so um but anyway getting seats in a car can be a very very irritating thing so um i've never bought a set of seats and brackets and stuff like so i picked up some stuff for the mustang i'm hoping that it's going to be a little bit better so if you guys remember the seat that come out of the crash car that i got all the parts off this thing it was like kind of messed up that's why i kind of like this brand seat they're like metal frame so you can fix the frames and stuff like that you know whether it's safe or not i don't know but they can be repaired and still maintain strength i really don't like the little fiberglass buckets and stuff like that so like i'm kind of a heavy dude too so <laughs> when you're like pushing back in the seat and you're cracking and stuff and it's fiberglass it's kind of like, ah. anyway i'm going to get this knocked out so the next time you guys will see this it will probably be like at least welded together with the seat in the car so i can kind of show you you know how it fits in this car um because like i'm like six three like 200 and well 
like 240 pounds at the moment, but I should be about like 215, so I've actually gained some weight. But anyway, <laughs> but I'll show you guys how it fits in the car. Even with my helmet on and stuff, I have like tons of room, you know, like when you're you're sliding, sometimes, like I hate when your head's like, they'll bounce and like hit the freaking, the roof of the car or side of the car. So I like to get my, my head as low as I can. So uh, this works, just hang, hang in there. I'll show you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this knocked out. And like I say, just cut these and clean those up and weld them to the front and then do the little, extend these little pads and you'll see it's, it's gonna be perfect. And for the passenger, I just always match the passenger to the driver so they look even in the seat or even in the car because I cannot stand that when like one seat's low and the other one's like high or so. That's the game plan for the passenger. So the passenger doesn't have to like hold on to the steering wheel and control the pedals and stuff like that so really the only seat that matters is the driver so get it comfortable for you and just match the passenger to that so no big deal all right guys i went through the headache and showed you guys like me making the seat brackets but my camera got screwed up and i lost the footage so i did get the seats in there got the brackets painted and everything so i'm just going to show you where they look in my white 350z and i have the opposite style seat and the new 350z which i don't think y'all have seen <laughs> so i'm so going to show you guys this and so y'all can like replicate it and then we'll get you guys updated on the cars and everything but the seats do look good check it out sweet so you guys remember um like so these are the seats that i traded my factory c5 seats for um they were really uncomfortable the guy hated it so he just retraded even for my factory seats I just threw them in the Z because I needed some racing seats. And I actually like the red, even though it's a little bit faded. Um, but if you guys can see, that's where I, this was the front mounting point. I just cut it right there and welded a little piece of bracket to it, or a little piece of extension, whatever you want to call it. So it would go to the back. And then the front right here, these are actually the rear mounting points. I just cut them a little bit shorter bolted them to the front or welded it and everything so now we have a good lean to the seats as you can clearly see if you have the side mounted seat bracket you know where the the brackets on the side of the seat and you have the adjustment right here you don't have to do that i'll show you that on the other car but like the bottom mounted seats like this if you just would have used this seat bracket straight out of the box and bolted these to it You've been sitting up really straight. It'd been really uncomfortable. So you have to get the seat leaning back. Or for me to be comfortable, you have to get it leaning back. Because like I said, I'm a really tall guy. So that would have put me too close to the pedals and too close to the steering wheel. And like I'd have to like lift my legs up to control the pedals. And your legs will get fatigued and you'll, you'll hate driving your car. So, but like I said, this, this works. Um, and having the seat lean back, you have plenty of room on your A-pillar for like your helmet and stuff. But the Z is coming together. Um, I can't remember the last video I made. But, you know, it wasn't... I think it was the day I had it tuned. <laughs> so, it didn't have doors, half the interior and stuff like that. So, I'll get you guys updated on that car in the next video. We got like oil cooler and power steering cooler. And, you know, dual rear caliper bracket. So, the next video, I'll get all that stuff bolted on and get you guys updated on that car. But I bought another Z uh, that you guys haven't seen. I have some clips of this that I'll add in the update video when I make one for this car. But right now we're just talking about seats. <laughs> so as you can see, this car has like the side mounted seats, uh, the side mounted seat bracket, whatever. You see all your adjustment is like right here. So you don't have to worry about the seat bracket. You just get it as low to the floor as you can. Now, as you can see, there's no room to go down. This thing is on the floor, even in the back right here. It is as low as it can go, and my adjustment is right here. I don't really prefer this style just because it's like, unless you have like a true, like now some companies are making like some true side seat brackets to where you don't even have this lower pedestal or pad. It's just one bracket bolts to the side of the seat and bolts to the car. I haven't tried those yet, but I imagine those are probably pretty good. So um, I'll try those on the Corvette because I'm not really happy with the seats in it, which I'll show you that in a second. But this seat is extremely comfortable. It's just a little bit high, as you can kind of tell, compared to the seat in the white 350Z. 
but it's really chaotic guys i'm trying to do way too much way too soon on like zero budget so <laughs> it's like i said those seats i have no money in them i bought my corvette traded the factory seats for those and it worked out great because now i had seats to go into the uh the z so but i'll show you the seats in the corvette which you guys haven't seen because i there's a lot done to the corvette you guys haven't seen another car is dirty <laughs> forgive me but once again i just bought the least expensive seat bracket i could find uh for the 350z i got the 1321s off ebay it's like 190 bucks i bought these seats off amazon they're like uh, like 400 dollars maybe 500 dollars and like i had to like weld the seat together and like delete the little mechanism that tilts the seat leans the seat and made my own seat bracket from like a little cheap one that was like 90 dollars <laughs> but this was a little bit different just because i wanted to maintain some kind of oem factory look because the only reason i bought this car was for the uh, red and black interior but like i said i'm getting super behind like i said i hate that i'm having like technical difficulties with my my camera like screwing my footage up but i'm gonna get through it i'm gonna like i said that pretty much be the end of this video um kind of hope this gives you like some kind of i don't know some kind of help with getting your seats in your car and getting them comfortable because there is nothing worse than having uncomfortable seats in your car because one you can't drive it you don't want to drive it because it's uncomfortable you should be able to get in your car with a racing seat and drive from here to wherever and not get fatigued like your arms shouldn't get tired your legs shouldn't get tired your back shouldn't hurt so don't settle for what you get just buying stuff from people it doesn't matter if you spend five hundred dollars on seat brackets or a hundred dollars on seat brackets from my experience they're never going to get your seat in the position to where you're going to be like it's pretty comfortable <laughs> so i've always had to like to cut and trim them and like do something to make them fit a little bit better so even if you have a buddy that just has like a little cheap because my welder isn't anything special i mean the seat brackets are usually like you know not very thick material anyway so you can you can manage you put a little when you put your little pads on there weld the front weld the back that bad boy ain't going nowhere so <laughs> well, all right guys like i said uh i'll get you guys i'll get you guys updated the z i'm like super pumped on like i said from a blown up de car got that thing back together ls swapped it was gonna go like full race car now to like a fully swapped hr car uh that makes like 330 wheel horsepower which is super cool i have a little v6 the corvette makes like 408 that's like that's pretty good i think so i'm gonna get you guys updated on the cars and everything so finish the finish the c which like i said i gotta i'm waiting on the oil coolers and stuff so i can put those on before i put the bumper on get my badges on maybe like race these two because i'm kind of curious because they make similar power and they're similar in weight so yeah i'm gonna get you guys updated i'm about to start rolling out videos like every freaking day boom 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 so but that's it for this one i hope this helps gets your racing seats more comfortable and uh gets you out there on the track so that's it guys i'll see you on the next one <laughs>